Protests against the boycott of Russian artists and culture rumoredly vengeful motives are driving the cultural embargo on Russian artists, museums, and research organizations, ISPs. Regardless of the artist's contribution to world culture in the domains of music, painting, or literature, any cultural organization will consider anybody who refuses to make a political proclamation of support with Ukraine and resistance to Russia as an accomplice of Vladimir Putin. Artists and intellectuals of Russian descent are being barred from cultural events, just as Jewish artists were in Nazi Germany over 90 years ago. However, an increasing number of artists and intellectuals are speaking out against the anti-Russian movement. They express the concerns of millions of workers and youth who are worried about enormous rearmament and the rising threat of nuclear war, a threat ignored by political parties and the media. The brave recent proclamation by the Belgian national opera Le Manet in Brussels that it will continue to play Russian works in the future season since its mission was to produce art not fight war, has found resonance in several nations, including Germany. Among the recent winners is Dmitry Smirnov, a Russian violinist who performed a concerto by Ukrainian composer Valentin Silvestrov. The concert's theme, Don't Burn Bridges, prompted a revision in the concert's program. Music by Ukrainian composers and Russian composer Dmitry Shostakovich took precedence over Haydn's. Thank you.